For 20 years, we've tried to rank on Google. Now you need to rank in Google. The key to this is Generative Engine Optimization, or GEO. And in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. I've got a Telegram bot here, and we can just kick it off with a start message. And it says, I'm your GEO AI agent. Just enter the website you would like to optimize for GEO and your email address, and let's get started. So let's enter in website and an email address. I've got these ones here, so I'll just kick this off. And while this is running, I'll quickly explain exactly what GEO is and why it matters. So since forever, we've tried to appear in search listings, front page at the top is ideal, but now we want to actually be in Google, not on Google. Optimizing for GEO is about appearing in ChatGPT, Perplexity, Claude, and Google overview searches. Okay, and back on Telegram, I've got the response here that our GEO agent has completed the task. The website I entered in Telegram to be analyzed, if you like, was thetaxlady.com.au. This is the email that goes through the analysis. We have the website, when it was done, and an overall score and a grade. So 48 out of 100, the grade was D, which is poor. We get a bit of an executive summary. So this looks, this breaks down the, the major factors. So we have content structure and format, clarity and directness, EEAT implementation, entity optimization, factual accuracy, and technical elements. So you can see the ratings here. So this gives us an idea of what we would need to focus on to modify this website to increase the chances of appearing in generative responses. So we get a full breakdown of the analysis, and this runs through every single component, but we'll head down to the bottom to the top optimizations and the overall assessments. It says the tax lady's website score was below average and it's got the basic structure elements, but it's focused on traditional SEO and user conversion rather than for AI friendly content structuring. We of course could manually go off and start making these changes, but I've got a better way and that's gonna be using an AI tool to actually rebuild it to address the GEO recommendations and to have a site that's ready to start appearing in generative search results. Now, just so we don't get lost in the process, there are five steps to optimize any website for GEO. Now, we've actually done step one already. We've got a review of the content and the technical aspects, but now we need to do steps two through to five. Lucky for us, we can actually do this all with AI. So in addition to the email where we get our full analysis and report of the GEO status, we also get a PRD. It is seven pages, over 2,000 words, and nearly 17,000 characters. The tool that generated this report, it did it by scraping the target website, comparing the technical and content structure, and then writing a document that keeps the essence and the theme and the branding of the original site, but reconstructs it to meet the requirements for GEO. All we need to do is copy this and we'll give it to Lovable to regenerate a new GEO based site. All right, so I'm over in Lovable and believe it or not, you can actually do this on the free plan. This is only going to take one shot to generate from all the testing I've done. So we just paste in the prompt here. This is the PRD document we, we got and let's run it. Okay, so our site is just about ready. It's just rendering now and we can take a look. So as a reminder, this was our reference site. This is what we're looking to update to be geo ready. And this is the site that Lovable has generated in one shot. I think you're going to agree this site looks amazing. If we scroll down a bit, we have the principal consultant here and a bit about them. This helps with trust. The site is very well laid out. We have all the cards for all the services. This is not only visually easy to read, an AI can read it very well because it's structured cards. And going down further, we have the testimonials, but we also have the FAQ. So this allows the AI to answer a question. If someone says, I'm looking for an accountant in this area who can do my tax, these kind of things can be easily rendered up as a accurate response that meets search needs. And finally, down the bottom, we've got a very clear contact form, which gives the phone number, the email, the address, everything. So I think 
Overall, the process has worked extremely well. We've been able to analyze a site and reproduce a new one optimized not only for SEO, but for GEO. Now, this is the automation that makes it happen. It's been built in N8N for a couple of reasons. There are a few code blocks here that really work best in N8N compared to say Zapier or make.com. The process itself, as we saw, it kicked off with Telegram. It runs through a process of scraping the website. It goes to perplexity. It does some research. These code blocks are more related to formatting the data that's coming in. We email the response out, but we also save a copy to Google Drive. And this one here, this one is a bit special. It's Google Gemini Pro 2.5, and we need it because we need a massive context window to take all that data that is obtained in the research process. And then we save the PRD document. So if you would like to get a copy of this entire template, it's 100% free. It is available in my community, which there'll be a link in the description. So if you want it, grab it, check it out. If you've got any questions, just let me know.